got the cinematic mode on for this. I don't know if it's blurred, but this is egg whites with some cheese and mint chutney on toast. And over there we have Miss Zoe, who's, uh, yeah, just doing what she needs to do, having fun, being naughty and destroying everything. Yeah, so while Zoe's running around, I thought, let me ask you guys, you know, Ivanka is 11 and uh, Sunday we have an appointment for her COVID vaccine. Now the problem is I'm having second thoughts, okay, because she's 11, not much data and, uh, you know, case studies about how kids, young kids below 12 have reacted to the vaccine. So I'm a little worried about what to do. And hopefully by Sunday, we'll have to either cancel the appointment or decide to go ahead with it. I don't know what to do. It's raining. So sitting at the dining table for a change. Usually I eat at my work desk upstairs. Yeah, don't know what to do about the vaccine. And uh, we are also starting a trainer for Zoe, the dog. Uh, German Shepherds, big dogs must have a trainer to you know, teach them the basic commands and all that stuff professionally. So we're getting a trainer for like eight weeks, every Sunday or Saturday, he'll come. Uh, so those are the updates. Today is a rainy Friday and the whole weekend, I think is a little rainy. So Zoe's going to be making susu and poo and potty and all in the house. I think if it's raining outside, but let me know guys what you think. And before my breakfast gets too cold, wanted to ask my subscribers their opinion you guys are young uh not as young as Ivanka, but you know uh is it too risky to give the vaccination to a young kid with a small body you know my son has a body like an adult there's no issue but i don't know i as of now we made the appointment because if we cancel sunday's appointment the next appointment it's only in january so that shows a lot of people are doing the the vaccine but my neighbors I checked with, some friends I checked, they're not sure, they're not decided yet, they're waiting. So maybe we'll also wait till January. Uh, my parents, my brother, all have said, you know, let's see what the feedback is. Because you never know how it reacts on a kid, a, a small body kid, you know, Ivanka's whatever. Uh, small in height and weight, so that's our worry. And Zoe's got all her vaccination, no Zoe? You got your vaccination? Have you destroyed anything while I was away? Yeah, she's biting this now. Why can't you play with your own toy, Zoe? So that's the crate. I'm going to make a video on crate training. It's not a cage. It's not a punishment. It is for the dog's own safety. When you're out for half an hour, an hour, the dog is safest in that crate. Otherwise, if they go and bite one of these wires or anything else they do, it is more dangerous for the dog. So the crate training is an absolute must. Kind of weird, right? My life, I'm talking about the dog in half the video and talking about my kids vaccination in the other half. So yeah, that's YouTube life. And in the middle, I've got my breakfast getting cold. So I need to chow down on my eggs before it gets cold and I have to throw them out. Okay guys. Let me know your comments about the vaccine. 90% will go ahead, but just have that doubt. And I want to make sure I'm clear about that doubt. Okay, bye. Take care.